Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest late night show on the planet, the High O'Clock Show. Get your blunts and snacks, because we're about to get high as fuck. Make some noise for your amazing host, the new queen of comedy, Stephanie Tejada. Welcome to High Clock. We are here. I am your host, Stephanie Tejada, the new queen of comedy. That's Stephanie spelled with a PH. Not an F like some of these dirty hoes. You need that PH balance, boo boo. It's High Clock. Let's get into our first segment. Today's news is the most ridiculous news that I find. It's in this segment called This Is Real. This is real and also real offensive, I just want to say. I'm offended. Um, someone said that they are concerned with their sister's relationship with their dog. Quote, they're freaked out. She acts like it's her child. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Yeah. I bet she does. I bet she does. What's wrong with that? What do you want her to, to treat the dog like shit? She should baby the dog. She should treat it like a child. I have to feed Chewy. I gotta clean his butt after he poops. He don't pay rent, you know what I'm saying? I breastfeed him at the dog park. Like, you have to take care of your children. Pets, pets are people for the soul, okay? So apparently, he was questioned if he's being too harsh after turning an invite down to the dog's second birthday party and laughing when nobody showed up to it. First of all, it's a pandemic. It's a pandemic, okay? The dogs aren't partying right now. That don't mean nothing. So what? So what? You lucky she invited you, first of all. You lucky she invited you, first of all. Um... <laughs> Realistically, though, as someone who is a dog mom, I don't know if I would ever, like, throw Chewy a party and just be, like, inviting everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might go to the dog park, let him have, like, his dog friends, but I don't think I would straight up be like, hey, guys, you're invited to Chewy's fourth birthday. <laughs> Bring a snack. To, like, I wouldn't expect anyone to show up for something like that unless they had a dog. So maybe you need to get a dog to bond more with your sister and your nephew. And this has been This Is Real. Our next segment is called Get the Fuck Out of Here. Get the fuck out of here, Charlotte from Ozark. Have you seen the show? Spoiler alert, Ozark spoiler alert. Charlotte goes through all this huffle and puffle and all this fuss because she wants to be emancipated. And then for what? She went back home. All of this, she didn't want to talk to her parents. She disowned her family. She was basically homeless. I think she was like sleeping on top of Wyatt's trailer. All that so she could go back home and live life as a crime lord. Get the fuck out of here, Charlotte. Get the fuck out of here, college application fees. How dare you? How fucking dare you, colleges? Application fees? You're making me pay hundreds of dollars to write you a letter? I gotta still pay for the stamp since when? Since fucking when? Twist. It's not like, oh, if you make it in the school, you know, we'll put that towards something. No, you still gonna have to pay for tuition. You still gonna have to buy books. You still gonna have to pay for your whatever, your dorms and shit like that. Bitch, 
apologize. Hey, what, do I get a refund if I don't get in? Do I get a refund if I don't get into the school? No. Get the fuck out of here, college application fees. And now it's time for our new segment called Fried Facts. Fried Fact. Um, I wouldn't say this is like a whoa, no way. Elephants can't jump. I mean, you don't fucking say. They weigh like what? Tons? Elephants weigh like a ton. Do you know how hard a ton is to lift off your little own feet and ankles, bitch? The elephants can't work out. All they could do is walk their fat asses, which is like a slow fucking glide, if anything. They can't go lift weights. They can't. They can't do calf press. They can't do calf raises and work on this. You know what I'm saying? Of course they can't fucking jump. And this has been Fried Facts. The more you know. And now it's time for Hateration. This week's Hateration is Adele. People are giving Adele so much shit because she was at a gender neutral award show. Is that right? Gender neutral award show? All inclusive award show. <laughs> And she won the award for best song or whatever it was. And she said in her acceptance, mind you, it is her acceptance speech. Okay, she can thank whoever the fuck she wants. She won the award. You guys obviously like her. She's there for a reason. She fucks with y'all too. Anyway, she says, I love being a woman. And everyone is appalled because, <coughs> excuse me, it was a gender neutral, all inclusive award show. And everyone's mad at her for saying that. Like, she's not a woman or something. Adele is a woman. She's a fucking woman, okay? That's it. I don't, I don't know if you knew this, but... <laughs> before the trans... All, everything. And the gender fluid. And all that. Whatever. All of it. Men and women exist. Do you understand? Like, we are still a thing. And there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that you are a woman and love being a woman. So I love being a woman. I really do. I love it. I love it. I love being a woman. Nothing wrong with that. Stop hating on Adele, okay? She's a woman who won the award. She did, she did nothing wrong. Leave that angel alone. Don't you touch a dull cancel culture. And that has been hateration. And that has been hateration. By the way, make sure to get your blunt t-shirt at stephaniezahada.com. Hit merch. And now it's time for my favorite segment. Because I get the highest. Hits blunt. Hits blunt. Are octopuses aliens? Yeah? Yeah? I think, I think we're starting to learn more about them and I think they are. Octopuses are aliens. Look at their heads. When you think about what aliens have been depicted as in movies and stories, they have tentacles and big heads like aliens. And they can shape shift. They can become invisible. They can camouflage with anything. Like, they are aliens. They're smart. They fucking have blue blood that poisons you and is ink. What is that about? Nobody else do that. <laughs> who else is doing that? Who else, who else poisoned you in the blood? And this has been Hits Blood. And now it's time for Because I Got High. Because I got high. I was in an elevator with multiple people and kept clicking the one button. We were already on the first floor and asking why we weren't moving. 
<laughs> What's wrong with this thing? Sarah, we're on the first floor already. Get the fuck off the elevator. <laughs> and this has been Because I Got High. Make sure to send me your stories of ridiculous things you've done. Hi. Hi. And now it's time for the final hit. The final hit. Remember the Thriller music video? Y'all have to remember Michael Jackson Thriller. It was iconic. It was like a mini film, a horror movie. It was fucking epic. But the girl in the Thriller video who was all terrified the whole time, she had mad opportunities to escape from zombie Michael Jackson. And for some reason, watch the video again. There's a fucking flash mob. It's not like they're flying. They're doing this. Like they are taking their time. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, but you could have ran from that, okay? And there's just so many times they turn their back. Like, <laughs> run, bitch! Like, I don't understand how she just stayed there. I really don't. I don't get it. And this has been the final hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been High O'Clock, my late night show with a twist. If you like this episode of High O'Clock, make sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans where you can catch every episode Monday through Friday. That's OnlyFans.com slash the new queen of comedy. If you want to see more of me and support my brand and see my live upcoming events, visit StephanieTejada.com. StephanieTejada.com, hit that merch button for your blunt t-shirts and more. Make sure to leave a tip if you laughed or if you didn't. I'm broke and this should cost money. This is an investment. Do you see the studio setup I have? Thank you guys for watching. Stay high. Love y'all. God bless.